A two-headed poisonous snake has been discovered in a North Virginia woods near Woodsbridge, not that far away from Washington, D.C. Probably one of the stupidest ideas this country has ever made is to build nuclear power plants near the capital of the United States. George Washington would be turning over his grave knowing nuclear contaminated the Potomac River. Washington DC is in striking distance from 12 nuclear reactors and one had a partial meltdown near Hershey Chocolate Factory, Three Mile Island. The officials say you have nothing to fear. The two-headed viper poses no threat to the community. But I digress. The two-headed venomous snake is a bad omen. It's a warning sign for mutations to come to the area. One of the most important things you could ever do is move away from one of these ticking time bombs. State agency has arranged for the care of a rare two-headed copperhead snake found at a residence in Northern Virginia on Sunday night. The venomous snake, a member of the Viper family, is an extremely rare find in the wild. State herpetologist J.D. Clipperford told USA Today, extremely rare, huh? I don't think so. This is becoming more commonplace now. Clipperford is a reptiles and amphibian specialist for the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. He said the stick is currently being cared for by an experienced viper keeper with the hope that it will one day be put on display at a zoo. Snakes with such a mutation find it difficult to survive in the wild. Clepifer said that's in part because the two heads often want to do two different things. The particular snake was young, about two weeks old, and small, about six inches long, according to Clepifer. Images providing some insight on in the physical makeup of the snake, thanks to the Wildlife Center of Virginia, were able to determine that the left head has the dominant esophagus and the right head has a more developed throat for eating. Clipper said this little guy probably wasn't much of a danger at his age. He said the viper was mainly attacking insects. The snake shouldn't alarm anyone, Clipper said. It's his goal to help the snake stay alive. Stephanie Meyer shared photos of the vipers on Sunday evening. She said the snake was found at her neighbor's flower bed in Woodbridge, Virginia. I wanted to look away, but I couldn't stop looking at it. It plays tricks on the eyes. Plays tricks on the eyes. The snake can tell no lies with the two head. <laughs>